I was sick. You might be able to tell, but it is basically gone. Um, and today I'm going to be setting up a cat tree that we were sent. It is made by Pet Libro. It's super cool. It's a DIY cat tree, so you can customize however you want it, and I think that's super cool. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Look at this! Uh, the scratcher pose. This is a different material than they usually use. I don't think this is a part of it, but this is a super thick piece of cardboard that the rabbits or hamsters would really like. Oh, are you helping? Wow. There's 12 different ways I can set this up. That is one too many choices for my simple brain. This is gonna take us a while. Okay, we got the first part done. Okay, now I'm losing my voice, so that's great. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I'm done. So for right now, this is where the tree is gonna go. So I went ahead and actually just changed up the style to fit in the corner a little bit better. I don't know if this is like a certain number because I did kind of make it my own by adding on a second pole because the cats really like scratching the poles. So I figured I would just make a little modification like so. It's JJ's favorite activity. So the cats are actually doing pretty good. You'll probably notice in these clips that Sadie is missing chunks of hair on her arm and then on her neck. This is because Sadie recently had her dental done, so that was her blood work and then IV spot. So everything is all good with her. Another thing that we were sent and I'm so excited about is this Smart Humidifier by Lavoit. Um, as you may know, I have a lot of plants, including some new ones that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, but a lot of them are tropical and they require high humidity. And my climate can be pretty low humidity, especially in the winter. Um, I'd like to keep the house 50 to 60% humidity. In winter, it's 18%. So having a humidifier is like so important, especially for this Birds of Paradise who is extremely dramatic when it comes to low humidity. So some of my newer plants that you guys haven't seen yet include String of Dolphins. This one is so cute, I love it. A Philodendron Silver Sword. This Hoya Compacta, which I'm so excited. I finally have found a couple more Hoyas to add to my collection. This one here, I think is called a Peperomia Hope. Don't quote me on that. This big basket behind me is a ruby rubber plant and it's so gorgeous. And I have now hung up a curtain rod across my window to hang more plants, including the new one that I got, which is a string of arrows. 
My house is currently a mess, but another project that I'm currently working on is a dig box for the rabbits. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, ignore all the clamps and wait. Um, someone's gonna ask me why didn't I do a tutorial because making this was very difficult and I'm not fit for making tutorials. So I do apologize. There is going to be a lid that's over there so they'll be able to go in and out. But it looks like this. Hey sir, um, you're supposed to be playing on the cat tree. Not the uh, 50 cent box that it came in. So it is eight o'clock and Dipper is awake. Dipper wakes up super early. Um, usually he's awake at like 7 p.m. which is insane because most hamsters don't wake up that early. One of the snacks that I like to give the hamsters is just some baby food. This one's the Love Child Organics. It's just apples, sweet potato, broccoli, and spinach and that's literally it. Can you come up? Oh, thank you. You like that? So I recently replaced Dipper's cork on this platform here. That was the biggest pain in the world because it was glued down, but I did manage to replace it, so now it's all nice. So Dipper, please don't shred it. Oh, what else is even awake? Hello, little buddy. Do you wanna try some baby food? Just a little bit though, cause it's a little sweet a little bit. <laughs> Isn't that it? Did it? Okay. <laughs> Waddles is doing pretty good. Um, I think his cage is a little bit different. We've got the a pine tree hideout there. It's super bright. <laughs> you can't see anything. Also, look at this little rabbit toy my friend gave me, like a little decoration. Isn't it so cute? And the last little munchkin is awake. <gasps> Hello! Oh, you going to drink your water? Look at how full I filled it. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, don't fill that full next time. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so cute. Mingle! It's too much. There. You're so cute. With your little head toe. Look at you. Okay, that's enough. No more. No! That's enough. I got something for you. Because Mabel is a big chewer, I figured I would give her this really thick tube from today. What do you think of that? Oh. See, it's so big, you can fit in it. You like it? Mmm, it smells interesting. So this is the substrate that I'm gonna be filling up the dig box with. It is the Living World Green Ultra Comfort. Mm. 
And I'm also going to sprinkle in some herbs for foraging. This is what I mean by Dipper is awake by seven. Dipper, <laughs> what are you doing? So as you can see, the rabbits really, or Cleo really loves the dig box and she has gone into it already multiple times by herself. I've decided to actually just leave the lid off because it's just easier for her to get in and out. And I did intentionally make it for Cleo more so because she, is more of the digger than Lola. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all the pets. They all, of course, are doing well currently. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.